Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 30th of uh, January uh, 2011 and uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only, it's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell anything and it's primarily for the TSTW24, uh, TSTWSYS08 and uh, TSTWSYS008 traders. For those who are new to us, our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. In this video, we want to talk to you about the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones, okay? Uh, which is the index representing uh, 30 stock uh, in United States, okay? And this is the Dow Jones, as we have said since last week or weeks before, we were telling you to close all your, all your uh, bullish position and uh, we were busy looking for opportunity to sell. During that time, uh, uh, many traders continue to buy. That's perfectly their decision to buy. We were not interested at all to buy. In fact, uh, we were <laughs> busy looking for opportunity to sell. Uh, we want to sell the Dow Jones to the downside, that's what we were looking for. Uh, the reason was that the Dow Jones, even though this is the word we were talking about all the time, uh, even some experienced trader get into trouble doing that because uh, they draw the trend line like this, okay, and they say the trend is up, okay, so they tell uh, their subordinates to buy. They say, buy, guys, keep buying, keep buying. The trend is up, keep buying. But the trend is b up, but the price at a very important resistance level. So you can't just tell people to keep buying because the trend line is up. I mean, when the price is going up, we must pay attention to the resistance level. And also check whether the price is displaying new higher highs. If the price is not displaying new higher highs, we are not interested to participate in that bullish momentum because the bullish momentum is weakening. It's as simple as that. Understanding the language of the price. The trend is up, but we are very important resistance level. Even on this uh, monthly chart, this is the normal monthly chart of Dow Jones. This level here where I press my cursor is the resistance level. That's where the price came to touch it there. You see? This is quite bearish right now because uh, on this uh, monthly chart, okay, and the Dow Jones went up from here since 2003. It started going up from here all the way up to this uh, level here, okay? But if you look very, very carefully on this uh, chart since 2003, that's where the bullish season has begun for this uh, Dow Jones, quite bullish. It's not perfectly clear, but we can draw on this chart uh, this is very interesting for those who are trading stocks. The first earlier wave, we can draw it like this. The second earlier wave is a bit messy because it's the complex uh, second earlier wave, which we can draw like this. And then, uh, because it's ABC corrective move for the second earlier wave, and then we can draw the third earlier wave up to this level here. Okay, and then the short. Uh, there was a kind of uh, a movement to the downside here because the price break this resistance line, which is here, and retest it here. Okay, so some trader may say that in fact uh, the third is always start here, but we are uh, disagree. I prefer to take it from here up to this level here. Okay, and then uh, we have the fourth area wave. Uh, I mean, the fourth area wave is up to here. Okay. And then uh, the fifth in your wave uh, up to this level. Okay, we can perfectly draw that. We are on a monthly chart. The problem when you are drawing an your wave on a monthly chart is not easy like on a daily chart or on a weekly chart because it's quite, uh, uh, like I like to put it heavy. It's quite heavy. It's many day compacted. So this is the monthly chart. Sometimes it's not easy to draw the alien wave uh, on this chart. And this movement from here. Uh, down to this level here, that's the ABC uh, corrective move, okay? But uh, again, because we are on a monthly chart, we do not know where to place the A, we do not know where to place the B, <laughs> and uh, it's not very clear right now. But 
I'll quickly remove my drawing, but the point I want you to pay attention to. The price was in the uptrend since 2003 all the way to 2008, and then from there it just went vertical to the downside up to uh, March 2009 when a new uptrend has begun. In fact, this is not uptrend, this is a rally in a downtrend. Look at it, down big time, now up to this level. If we draw, if this is what we have been saying long, long time ago. If we draw the Fibonacci tool on this chart, carefully here, from here, down to this level here, okay? We can see that the price has crossed above the 60, the 66 percent. First, it crossed the 61.8, and then crossed the 66 percent Fibonacci retracement level. It's now near the 75 percent Fibonacci retracement level, around the 76 percent zone. This is the zone. The 76 percent. That's where I'm moving my cursor now. The line below is the 75. The one in top say that's 78 percent. So all this zone we call it in the zone of 75 percent. So I can perfectly on my chart right now put a spotlight there where the Dow Jones reached that level okay that's why we stop buying and looking for opportunity to sell because the price has reached a very important resistance level on the monthly chart and also a very important a Fibonacci level for those who do not know about the, the earlier wave theory the best place to learn about the earlier wave theory is uh, the www.digit2, digit4, Elliot Wave in plural.com, www.24elliotwave.com. We have simplified the subject of Elliot Wave. When you see the price going up, going up, going up, and display, you can perfectly, if you can perfectly count the five wave, this is uh, one of our smart trading strategy that we can reveal to you now, okay? We are the TSCWS or S0A traders, okay? One of the strategies that you have to pay attention to very very powerful okay i will show you tonight is where the fourth area wave has ended so you count all the wave and you count the fourth area wave, which in the fourth area wave from here down to here where the fourth area wave has ended is a very powerful resistance level in the uptrend and a very powerful support level in the down in the in the downtrend okay i repeat where the, the fourth area wave has ended, we see from here, it went down to this level here in the uptrend because the price went up from here all the way here. Where the fourth area wave has ended in the uptrend is a very powerful resistance level, and in the downtrend is a very powerful uh, support level. And look what what is happening here: the Dow Jones came, went down all the way after breaking because the uptrend is completely kaput after. Uh, the, the, to speak a bit of German to you, okay, the gates, uh, it's completely kaput, okay, it's a German word for, it's, it's completely over, okay, so, um, now, after the prime break, the low of the fourth earlier wave, so the prime display a fifth wave, this was the last higher low, in this uptrend, this is the last higher low in this uptrend. Now the prime went above it and then come back and cross below it. Why is it doing below it? It's because the uptrend is kaput. This is the last higher low. The last higher low is kaput. We must look for opportunity to sell. That's in the uptrend. The prime might display higher lows and higher high until it fails to display new higher high. But if the price turn around and break the last higher low, we must be completely bearish. That's what's happening here. Boom down, down completely. Now the price went down after breaking that very important level, which is also <laughs> the end of the fourth earlier wave, in the uptrend that has begun since 2003 up to this level here. Now he, he, he break that level, which is a very important level in the uptrend, okay, resistance level. It went all the way up only to stop right there. Look at that. You want to see clearly? I will put a spotlight there for you. For those who are still buying stock, caution is required be very very smart okay do not just buy uh, let's do it like a light here okay now le let me clear this mess and do it properly because i don't know what i'm doing now okay make it big okay right now this zone here okay those who are buying stock be very very smart okay if you do not want to cab out try to uh, squeeze your stop loss carefully okay for those who are using the tstwsy s08 
the TSTWSYS008, the TSTW24, we are now bearish, so we must look for candidate to sell. That's what we do. So we want to trade first the market. For those who are swing trading, we are not interested in anything to buy right now unless the market cross above this important level of 11961. Okay, 11961. If the Dow Jones cross back above the 11961, then the bullish party is back on. If you find support above it, if you find support above 11961, then we will uh, continue to look for opportunity to buy, okay? If you find support above it. But right now it's below it, we are bearish. So we will concentrate on bearish signal instead of uh, bullish signal. So we don't, we are not interested to buy anything, okay? We can come back another day and buy unless the Dow Jones cross above the 11961. If it doesn't, I am not prepared <laughs> to buy anything, okay? I'm bearish, okay? So the price came all the way since 2000, March 2009, went all the way to hit only this level here. This is a very, very, very bearish. It looks bearish on the monthly chart, as you can see, it retraced back down. If we switch back to the weekly chart, because we want to see it in a different way. Okay, let's go, for instance, to the yearly chart. I don't know how you can, it's not a very good one. Uh, this is the quarterly chart here. That's what we see on the quarterly chart, okay? because I don't want my download to take so long when I'm doing uh, my things. That's why I don't have too much data here. So this is the quarterly chart, okay? And uh, if we look on the weekly chart, this is what we see on the weekly chart, okay? Uh, uh, here, okay? That's what we see on the weekly chart. And uh, this is what we have last week, okay? What I will do, I will remove some of my drawings so you can see everything clearly. That's, that's last week, okay? So you see what's happened, the price went above the high of the previous week only to be sold back down because we were saying to people, do not buy, sell, sell, sell. People were buying like, uh, I don't know what kind of indicator they were using, they were buying. The market was really, really aggressive. People want to buy. It was amazing. I mean, we said this many, many times when we are a bit, we are a kind of leading indicator in this market. When we start saying to people to sell, when people were busy buying, okay? So you can perfectly say that we are leading indicator in this market, okay? Now we look on the uh, daily chart, okay, of uh, the Dow Jones. What do we see? That's what we see. We show you before, uh, uh, last week, the ABCD chart pattern, okay, which is a very powerful and reliable pattern uh, that people should pay attention to. But the market during that time was uh, bullish. People were buying. Okay, now, we were looking for opportunity to sell uh, for swing trading. There, there was no signal given to us to enter a bearish signal. Uh, so we had to uh, uh, respect uh, other traders, okay? Now this is what has happened, okay? So we see the ABCD, okay? So from here to here, and then from here to this level here, and then from here to here. Okay, so I will color this uh, session here, uh, color it uh, green, okay, and then color this one uh, uh, red, okay, uh, it's not very clear on this chart, so I will change it to white instead, okay, so we can see it, and then I will color uh, uh, the other one blue, okay, so this is the A, this, this session here, that's the A, this is the B here, this is the C here, and this is the D, A, B, C, D. Very, very powerful. Where the distance from A to B, usually, repeat, usually, not always, the distance from A to B, usually, will be equal to the distance from C to D. Boom, down. You see? It's coming down. Or coming down. Now, we will see next week. Uh, the only thing that will uh, uh, change the direction of this uh, movement with downside is uh, market manipulation or some crazy news or any other news that uh, will change the market sentiment and then they can uh, perfectly push it back up okay so but technically looking at this uh, people shouldn't be buying but if you see this market going up again you know that there is a kind of market manipulation or some news okay that came in and changed the sentiment that's the only thing that will change this right now but right now we have a valid reason uh, to be bearish whatever happened we have the tool the tstwsy08 
the TSTW24, the TSTWSYS008, because we are not trying to force our homework on the market, so to speak. We are opening our eyes and follow the price. If the price is going up, we will be part of it. If it's going down, we will be part of it. So there's no point to uh, try to focus the market or try to uh, be arrogant to other traders, but we will pay respect to other traders and uh, we will follow the price, the number one indicator. So this is about the Dow Jones, completely bearish towards the Dow Jones. Uh, even the trend line from here to here is broken right now. Uh, we will uh, monitor carefully, use the TSTWSYS08 or the TSTWSYS008 for perfect entry point. I hope you enjoyed this video that you put into practice in order uh, to cream the market uh, consistently. We are the TSTWSYS008 traders. Thank you for watching and uh, speak to you soon.